variable if it is discrete random variable you have some discrete distributions in that first one is bin order distribution okay x is a discrete random variable in that case we have some discrete distributions in that first one is bin only distribution one of the distribution is the bin order distribution how can i define the bin order distribution if x is random variable it depends on favorable event or unfavorable event okay if a is random experiment okay, a is a random experiment we have some possible outcomes we are doing a random experiment we have how to get the some events so total number of possible outcomes are sample space in that sample space i am defining one event that event is subset of sample space okay a is one event a is one event which is subset of sample space s if i get probability of event a okay the function of event a probability is a different case i am defining the function on a favorable event a x is function x on a okay x is function x on a which is a equal to 1 okay. if i get the define on function on favorable event a is a equal to 1 that is success probability function on success event getting an event a favorable event a is a equal to 1 so getting an unfavorable event is equal to 0 okay see here so binol trial is a random variable random experiment the binol trial is a random experiment in which there are two precisely two possible outcomes which are conveniently we call failure and success which are conveniently we call failure and success we define a random variable from sample space s from sample space that sample space is s comma f s is success event f is failure event the total events is sample space s is one event f is one event the these two events combination is sample space okay in the in the real number set as follows x of f x is function defense on failure set failure event x of f is equal to 0 x is function random variable which depends on success event is equal to 1 failure event 0 success event 1 we define the bernoulli random variable like this x is bernoulli random variable which depends on failure event is equal to 0 which depends on success event is equal to 1 okay no? the probability density function of this random variable is the probability density function of this random variable is f is density function f of 0 equal to because of x equal to 0 or 1 range space so range space rx is equal to either 0 or 1 okay, 0 or 1 f of 0 equal to probability of 0 that is 1 minus p 1 minus p probability of success event 1 okay, p f of 1 equal to probability of 1 that is equal to p total probability equal to 1 so probability of success is p so failure is 1 minus p that is 1 minus p okay forget about q where p denotes the probability of success where p is denoted the real number which is real number which denotes the probability of success hence f of x is equal to if x equal to 0 that will get the 1 minus p in x equal to 1 that is equal to the p okay these the, these two are the probability density function variables now i define the combination of these two terms f of x equal to p power x into 1 minus p power 1 minus x if x equal to 0 that is p power 0 1 minus p power 1 minus 0 that is 1 minus p is the first one x equal to 0 if x equal to 1 p power 1 1 minus p over for 1 minus 0 1 minus 1 sorry 1 minus p over for 0 that value is 1 so p power 1 is p that is second one f x equal to 1 this is the density function of bin only random variable okay so this is our procedure to if x is a bin only random variable how can i define bin only random and range space okay now see here i am defining no, note this function the random variable x is called the bin only random variable the random variable x is called the bin only random variable if it is the probability density function of the form 
if its probability density functions it depend like this f of x equal to p for x into 1 minus p for 1 minus x what i am depending the previous one just i am replacing that value i am writing the that value of x value f of x equal to p for x 1 minus p for 1 minus x either x equal to 0 comma 1 otherwise 0 okay where p is a probability of success small p is the probability of success so this is the density function of a given Bernoulli random variable x okay if the total probability is exactly equal to the one you can check uh, crossly that is summation x equal to 0 to 1 rx value is 0 comma 1 so f of x f of x f of x is x e, f of x value p for x into 1 minus p for 1 minus x substitute x equal to 0 1 and plus x equal to 1 add the two terms you will get the 1 so if we, if we get the 1 so given f of x is valid density function of given Bernoulli random variable if it is not equal to 1 the total property is not equal to 1 in this case f of x is not a valid density function okay now we denote the Bernoulli random variable by writing x x distributed Bernoulli with parameter p ampere p okay see here one example what is the probability of getting a score of not less than pi what is the probability of getting a score of not less than pi in a throw of a six sided die in a throw of a six sided die see, see here total possible outcomes are one to six you know that total possible outcomes of throwing a dice is one to six 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 outcomes we are grouping them into two sets one is favorable event second one is unfavorable event that favorable event is the probability of getting a score of not less than 5 not less than 5 means either 5 or greater than 5 that is event b b equal to success event sc equal to 6 comma 5 and next unfavorable events uh, outcomes are 1 2 3 4 this set is indicated the failure set okay failure event any score in a is failure any score in B is success. Okay. Thus, this is a Bernoulli trial. Thus, this is a Bernoulli trial. So, probability of x equal to 0. x equal to 0 is probability of failure event. That failure event is number of outcomes here. 4. 4 by total number of possible outcomes are 6. 4 by 6. So, probability of success event. Success event number of elements in B is success is 2. 5 comma 6. 2. 2 by total number of possible outcomes are 6 in sample space. So, this is the by required probability. The probability of getting a score of not less than 5 in a throw of 6 sided dice is 2 by 6. This is the procedure to determine in Bernoulli trial. Okay, now? See here, very important topic we are discussing here. Whatever it x is, whatever it x that x is, is the discrete random variable or um, continuous random variable so whatever it is distribution either Bernoulli distribution or binomial distribution or normal distribution or Poisson distribution or gamma distribution beta distribution uniform distribution whatever it is distributions in every distribution it has moments okay it has moment every random variable has probability density function valid probability density function if it has a density function it has moments that moments are main variance second moment third moment fourth moment and so on moment generated functions like this all you can determine all the values if it, they are exist okay if they exist you can determine easily if x is a Bernoulli random variable with parameter p p is a parameter then main variance and moment generated functions are respected given by okay, this is one theorem x is Bernoulli random variable with parameter p then main variance and moment generative functions are respectively given by mu x is mean mean equal to p variance equal to p into 1 minus p moment generative function is 1 minus p plus 1 minus p plus p into e power t we have to prove these three values okay so see here for the mean of the Bernoulli random variable x is okay the mean of the Bernoulli random variable x is mu x mu x is not going to expectation of x e of x okay e of x about origin moment first moment about origin is mean 
e of x equal to mu x with respect to the random variable x mu is mean which is equal to summation x belongs to range space x into density function okay f of x is probability density function summation x belongs to rx x into density function is given by p power x into 1 minus p power 1 minus x so range based values are 0 and 1 so substitute x value 0 one time and add summation is addition and x equal to 1 second time okay in place of x 0 p power 0 1 minus p power 1 minus 0 next x equal to 1 add the two terms we will get the p 1 minus p power 0 is 1 only p into 1 is p mean value p okay we have to determine second one is variance we need variance but variance is equal to second movement minus mean square so i want to determine the second movement so the second movement e of x square equal to summation x belongs to range space x power 2 into f of x here we want to determine second movement x power 2 is x power 2 so if you need third movement that is x power 3 for second fourth movement x power 4 okay you can continue the same procedure so but here second movement x power 2 x power 2 into f of x substitute x power 2 why you are using summation because of x is a discrete random variable first of all okay discrete that's why we are using the summation substitute x equal to 0 1 and x equal to 1 should add the two terms you will get the p okay so variance is equal to second movement minus mean square second movement is p mean is p p whole power 2 p square in these two terms p will be common term p into 1 minus p so this is the variance we are going to prove and next one is movement generating function so that movement generated function is mx of t mx of t mx is indicated the random variable m of t mt equal to expectation of e power tx okay expectation of e power tx summation x belongs to range space e power tx into f of x so f of x is density function you should substitute, substitute the density function so rx is 0 to 1 0 and 1 0 to 1 okay substitute x equal to 0 and add x equal to 1 so final value simplify that value substitute x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 you will get the 1 minus p plus p into e power t this is the moment generated function of the given Bernoulli random variable discrete random variable okay you can compute the third moment that third moment e of x power 3 that is x power 3 into f of x degree in summation x equal to 0 to 1 substitute x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 add the two terms after simplifying you get the p so this is a indication to that in general in Bernoulli distribution all its movements about r's in r same in first moment you get the p and second moment also you get the p and third moment also you get the p and similarly fourth fifth sixth seventh and so on every moment about r's in you get the same p value and all are same or not same okay for the Bernoulli distribution all its movements about r's in are same and equal to p and equal to p that is e of x power n equal to p for all n greater than or equal to zero they are integers okay so here another problem what is the probability of getting exact three eights in five flips of a fair kind one kind is tossing five times at a time five times okay one pair kind is tossed five times we want to get the exact three heads what is the probability of getting exactly three heads if i flip so a kind in five times the so total number of possible outcomes are two for five two four five is 32 okay two four five is 32 total number of possible outcomes are 32 our favorable outcome is exactly three heads that is possible to serve three heads tail tail two heads tail head tail you can write in like this all possible three head outcomes the total number of outcomes are 10 so probability of success event is a the probability of success is 10 by 32 that is 5 by 16 so this is the procedure to determine the probability density function of the Bernoulli random variable and mean and moment and every term okay all these moments and moment generated functions all also you should come to the like this okay so listen clearly if whatever it random variable you have to determine its movements if movement if probability density function is given that is the main variance movement generated function characteristic function all those can be determined same similarly like the above procedure okay